Ladies and gentlemen, Matt of Revenge! Hell yeah! Oh yeah. How's it going, buddy? Dude, it is going awesome. I appreciate you doing this, man. Uh, for those that may not know you, could you please properly introduce yourself? Let us know whereabouts in the world you are right at the moment. And uh, plug or promote anything you'd like. All right. Uh, well, I'm Matty Singh from Revenge. We're a Los Angeles-based metal band. <laughs> Um, we actually have another single coming out, um, called Best of You. Uh, it's coming out in about a month and a half. We just released Better Days with Jeremy Tolis, as, uh, I think you guys played that last time, too. Yeah, we're gonna play a bunch of your, um, of your jams, and I wanted to save that one toward, like, a little towards the end, because that's, like, the brand new one. But I, I do want to ask, uh, uh, how did you link up with, uh, with JT? You know, I just messaged him on, like, I think it was Instagram, actually. I was just like, yo, you want to do a song? And he was down. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't get any easier than that, right? So sometimes people oh, are yeah, like, dude, yeah. it was... it's not not that easy to get uh, to guest features. So that's really cool that he did that. Um, tell me about this song. I know this one's like a little bit older, but it's still, it's still kind of, you know, not that old. I think it's a year old. Tell me about Decay. What does this song mean? Oh, Decay, that was actually written a long time ago. We just decided to record that one. Um, that song, uh, my guitar player wrote the riff back in like, I think it was like 2017. And uh, we revisited it and took some old lyrics, revamped it into what it is now. And, uh, you know, uh, it was just kind of an angsty song. And we decided we wanted to throw it out there. So we, we made it a single. And uh, I think we put that out in, I think it was like 2020 or something like that. Or, uh, I think it was 2019. I don't know. For sure. Uh, Indica, Sativa. I can't remember. <laughs> Indica, Sativa, or Hybrid? What you smoking on? Always indica. <laughs> Always indica. Weed every day. This Always is indica. decay. <laughs> is, is Revenge your first band, or you were in other projects before this? And if so, like what genre were the other projects? I was in a few bands. I was in a pop punk band when I first started playing live music, but I was yeah. a drummer back then. Um, that was that was pretty fun. That was called Casket of Damara, and then um, I decided to be a lead singer and started a band called Facing Your Shadows, which I was in for. I think it was about six years before uh, before we ended up calling it quits. And I moved. Uh, that was back in Florida, and that's when I decided to move out here to Los Angeles. Can your drummer do vocals at all? And that's a weird yes, question. Yes, he can. And it's, do you guys ever do a switch? Awesome. Do you guys ever do a switch in the set? You know, uh, we haven't yet, but we actually talked about that since we're doing a whole new live like set and everything. We're we're, we're thinking of like new antics to throw into the live set, and that might be one of them. Because I know you guys are playing the uh, the uh... battle of the bands coming up <laughs> in June. Oh yeah, we're excited for that one. That'll be a lot of fun to we see that live. That'll live be set. really we... cool. Oh yeah, definitely. Our live set we're planning for that one is. Uh, it's... For sure, gonna be our craziest set, so it's gonna be fun. <laughs> Must attend show for sure. I uh, love it. So let's oh, go yeah. to let's go ahead We're and throw in any of the new songs till then. Really, S saving all the jewels. Oh, yes. <laughs> saving all the jewels. I love it. Uh, let's go ahead and play Better Days. Oh yeah. By the way, real quick, toss out all your uh, your social medias. Where can everybody follow you guys at? Oh, it's really easy. Everything is at Revenge Music, R-V-N-G-E Music. And that's for our Twitter, Instagram, um, TikTok. <laughs> Hell yeah. Are there, are there other uh, singers and artists that you guys want to collab with that uh, you've talked about that you're willing to let us know about? Maybe, and this could just be like a dream list. Maybe not someone you've actually hit up yet, but who would you, who would you like to work with in addition? Um, you know, honestly, um, I was wanting to work with a buddy of mine um he's actually um lead singer of um of the band falling in reverse uh ronnie radke oh yeah um i yeah i connected with him because i'm really good friends with his old drummer ryan which is my workout partner oh cool <laughs> um so uh so yeah we'll, we'll see if that actually happens but the next plausible feature that we might do is probably going to be a uh, um that uh, uh what, what i forgot his name damn 
Kellen Quinn. Yeah, that's that's who he was talking about. Oh yeah, Kellen um, Quinn. That'd be a cool feature too. We want we want to bring that kind of old school sound. Well, not sort of old school sound, but that early two thousand sound back. Nah, that's <laughs> I guess my my favorite now. era of the emo screamo metalcore like scene kind of vibe. Like I was at all the Warp tours, and if they if they had a Warp tour this year, I would be the first one to buy a ticket. Like that is like my sound right there. Uh, Oh, same here, man. But these kids treat me like a grandpa for it. <laughs> <laughs> We're the OGs, bro. We're the OGs. Are you always uh, born? In, are you born and raised in California, or did you move here from from somewhere else? Yeah, I moved here from uh, Ocala, Florida. I'm from where I remember is from. We actually went to the same high school. <laughs> Dude, I used to yeah. live in uh, Oviedo, which is probably like 35 minutes from Ocala. But that's just crazy. You I'm from exactly I'm from South Florida. That that's awesome. <laughs> I, I'm from West Palm Beach that's originally. Sick, dude. <laughs> dude, we used to play so many shows out there. <laughs> dude, Ocala. I actually this is a wild story. I once went to Oh man, this is I've not talked about this story, I don't think live. Um <clears throat> there's a there's something called the gatherings where it was like these traveling hippies and they had like Oh a, yeah, a gather gatherings in the in middle of the National Rainforest. Right? Yeah, in the forest. So I went there with some buddies. Like, man, I was probably like 20, 21. and uh, we brought like toilet paper <laughs> and chocolate and all kinds of stuff to like trade for <laughs> something. And then, uh, oh yeah, everything's a barter system out there for anything. <laughs> yeah, and uh, it was a wild night. And uh, yeah, good times, man. Good times. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's have some fun. Are you down to review some bands with me and or do some trivia? Ooh, I'd love to review some bands with you. <laughs> uh, we'll definitely review some bands. I'll do both, I don't care. Regarding, regarding the trivia, what would you say you know the most about in either film or television? Like, like maybe you know more about Friday the 13th or South Park or Harry Potter. It literally could be anything, Dexter, anything uh along those lines what do you know the most about so if i ask you trivia about it you won't get it wrong shit if i had to pick something it'd have to be futurama futurama heard is that is that like a somebody chat saying it sounds like a xylophone in the that do 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 or is that just a synth sound wait wait, wait. Uh, what was the question sorry in, in better days that doom 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 is that a xylophone or is that a, oh. a synth sound or like MIDI or something? It's just a synth sound that we used, yeah. Chat, that, that sounded like a, a xylophone. Ding, ding, ding. You know what I'm saying? It does, yeah. It's kind of cool. All right, give yeah, me a I'm second. i drummer do that live. <laughs> that would be that would be cool. He gets up from the drums and does, <laughs> does one of those. Uh, okay, let me give me a second to cue up the Futurama. This is uh, Perspectives New York. Let's put them in. They're pretty dope. Perspectives, New York. Dude, that that kicked that kicked ass. And it was called. I got your trivia ready, by the way. It was I called. I will definitely Hope. be listening to them. <laughs> Hell yeah, Hope runs deep. All right, your Futurama trivia is. What is Fry's brother's name? Fuck! God damn it. Oh, shit. What is Fry's brother's name? He never comes in the fucking episodes. Uh, yeah, fucked up, man. That's what I don't know. Not off the top of my head. We'll see if Chad knows it. What is Fry's brother's name? That's kind of a hard one. Somebody show me up here. Trista got it. It is Yancey. Yancey is, right, it is Yancey. correct. I'll tell you what, though, there, there is an Easter egg in the album art of our record that is some Futurama Easter Like, it, it's a Futurama Easter egg on the front cover of uh, System what? Failure. What? Hell yeah. But there's a, a hidden Easter egg, too? That's cool. Yeah. Uh, my brother, of all people, <laughs> actually just followed. Every time we get a new friend in here, we hit the blah button. And yes, hell yeah, why my paradise? <laughs> Creation from Crisis. I want to ask some more questions about the transition from being a drummer to a vocalist. Like, what made you, was there a particular like album or something where you just were like, man, 
I just know I can do this and like an influence that made you decide that the time is now to switch. Uh, it was a funny story. I was, uh, I was on the phone with this girl. Well, no, my friend was on the phone with this girl, actually. That's how it was. And, uh, I was doing something in the background and somebody asked me to sing something real quick. So I did. And I remember that girl was on speaker and she said that I had a good voice and I did it for the chicks. <laughs> Hell yeah. So, that, so that's all you needed to yeah, hear right it there. Was, it was dumb, but <laughs> it, it was it, it was like a dumb way to get into it. But I, I ended up loving just being a front man instead of somebody that's to lug around a whole drum set. <laughs> that's cool. Matty, do you play do you play any video games? I do. I do play video games. What's your game? I've been playing Oculus lately. Um, right now, it has to be this game called Population One. It's a VR game on the Oculus Quest. And uh, it's kind of like PUBG, but like in VR. So you're all set and ready to go for the metaverse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I need to get one of those soon, man. <laughs> I've been hearing so much about it. What do you guys, uh, what do you guys got planned the rest of 2022? But you got mapped out as far as like we want um, to do this, we want to do that. So so far we got the Battle of the Bands. The only other show we have booked is uh, September 30th at the Whiskey with a uh, head PE, and that's pretty much it right now. But we're gonna continue uh, booking shows as we go throughout the year. They're gonna be very random because uh, we're just getting the feel for getting back on stage and seeing what we're gonna do on the long run. So cool. everything right now is just like a test. <laughs> Hell yeah, I can dig it. Uh, if there's is there one song of yours that we haven't played that we absolutely have to hear? Oh my god! If I had to pick one, it'd probably be Hellfire because Brandon solo in that he he takes great pride in his solo in that song, and I don't blame him for that because it's fucking amazing. When he busted that out, I was just shocked. <laughs> Revenge, Hellfire. There it is. Yo, who's, uh, when you, when you decided to play drums, who made you want to pick up the drum kit or go buy a drum kit and, and pick up the drumsticks? You know, I was actually going to my first concert in 2007. I went to see the Chili Peppers and seeing Chad Smith just go nuts behind the kit, man, just made me want to feel what he felt on that stage. So, you know, like I was determined to just learn as much as I could. And, uh, that's exactly what I did. I just played drums every fucking day until like somebody wanted me in their band cool and uh it was a good feeling that definitely is a good feeling i know we missed a couple on our refresh but i know there's some supporters i've been saving to uh to play let's get your opinion on a band called isotopes they're out of australia let's do it i like the name already uh i i had the chance to interview their drummer and I was like, the only time I've ever heard Isotopes is in The Simpsons. And they were like, that's exactly where Isotopes, is the name came from. And I was like, what? Who Isotopes. What do you think of them? Mm, it's kind of catchy. Got some good harmonies and stuff. Uh, Chad wants me to ask, oh, yeah. who, who are some of your favorite local bands that you guys have an uh, opportunity to share a stage with? local bands out here in LA um hmm. I gotta say uh Hollywood Nightmare is one of my favorite bands to play with because those guys are just they're great I just love hanging out with them they're just great people in general so we're very familiar with them to play a show with them wait what's up I was, we're very familiar with Hollywood Nightmare those guys are those guys are awesome oh yeah always fun to party with them <laughs> hell yeah but yeah i think they're my favorite local band to play with heck yeah i think we got time to do uh one more years is there one more song that you'd like us to hear before we let you go sir anything in your, in your entire catalog um, shit I, I, well we haven't played I'll revolution and revolution is the first one yeah I was about to say, everybody really likes that song. <laughs> we gotta jam that one then. It's a revolution. All right. It is. Lizzie's saying that you guys need to play a show with a Silas soon. Are you familiar with a Silas? I'm not, 
I'll cue, I'll cue them up also. I would love to check them out. You should check them out. They're really cool. Where do you guys go for all your uh, audio recordings? Um, it's these two brothers named uh, Brandon and Jeremy Wolf. Uh, they actually used to play guitar for a band called uh, New Year's Day. But, okay. Uh, they actually um, they offer their ser- uh, services to us for our first single, and we've been using them since because uh, they understand our sound and they really know what we're like our vision is. So uh, I-, I trust no one except for them with my with my recordings. I feel you. Once you find like the the right homie that you vibe with, and and the quality is all there, you just kind of you feel comfortable. These are our homies. Yeah, they're uh, really like the extra part. Like they're they're the secret members of Revenge. <laughs> for sure, uh, these are our homies in in Asylum. So I believe they're kind of like scattered, but basically L.A., Anaheim, that kind of location. Hell- what you think? Okay, these guys kick ass, man. <laughs> these guys are fucking amazing. Lizzie's saying in the chat that the, that the perfect lineup's got to be Revenge, Hollywood Nightmare, Asylus, and we could probably think of like two more that just be like the most solid, everybody fits each other's sounds, and just vibes off each other, good, good, positive vibes, awesome night. We got to set that something up. that would be sick. That would be really sick. We got a brand new, uh, show with those guys. <laughs> brand new friend in the chat. That means we hit the blah button. The old geek. Welcome. I'm going to try and find one more uh, trivia question to stump you regarding uh, Futurama. Give me just a second. Let's go ahead and see who we missed on the refresh real quick. I know we definitely missed one or two. Oh, yeah. Let's see who we missed. Who didn't get a... Nope. I think we played everybody. So the person we did not play is actually a band called Disgust, and that's going to be the last one after Trigger Effect also. But uh, Disgust. And then, Maddie, I just got one or two more questions for you, and I'll let you go after that, but I want to know what you think about this band. These guys are from Australia. Their vocalist has, like, great, great, uh, like, cleans, too. Oh, yeah, definitely. Those guys definitely love Slipknot. I mean, for real. They get it all the time, but they have some uniqueness to them in in certain songs. All right. Matt, I got a final question for you, sir. I want to know, I ask everybody this, by the way. Um, what's a piece of advice that you can share with us that either somebody in the music industry has gifted you with that you were just like, man, I couldn't, I n- did not know that? Or a mistake you made earlier in your career that you do not want a starting up band to make? Okay, I'll go with some advice, actually, because I do have some good advice that my buddy passed on to me that helps in a lot of situations, because I never knew this as a little garage band growing up. But uh, when you're when you're going out and playing, you know, shows, especially like with bigger venues and everything and working with different promoters, I always tell these bands that I work with now to negotiate because, you know, you got to you got to make everything right on both ends. And uh you know what 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 i didn't do growing up was uh, i didn't negotiate anything and we lost out on a lot that could have helped you know propel us forward and you know we don't make that mistake anymore and we we work with people that we trust now and that's uh that's pretty much uh the best advice i can give everybody you have to you have to really know who you're dealing with and you know be careful especially out here cuz uh People just want money usually, and uh, they will screw over the hungry people. Yeah, people are scandalous out here in California. You gotta be careful for sure. Maddie, I appreciate it, brother. I can't yeah. wait. To, can't wait to burn one in uh, in real life with you at the Battle of the Bands, dude. That'll be a lot of fun, guys. Very if, soon. If you enjoyed Revenge's music, please, please, please hit that follow button. Support them on Spotify and on YouTube. Absolutely a pleasure, sir. Subscribe. Thank- Subscribe, all that, whatever you could do, that'd be awesome. Thank you, man, so much. We appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your day. You guys too, man. Thanks for having me. Cheers.